Richmond. I'm Ariana Powery. I'm Moali Khan. I'm Caitlin and Tartaglio. And I'm Joseph Bedejo. Special thanks to everyone who came to the Halloween Homecoming Dance and for opening up our show. Speaking of Halloween, welcome to our Halloween episode. And if you're wondering why we're in a different location, it's because we have some special work going on in the studio. Last week, students from the Science Alliance, along with Ms. Moretti, took part in the annual Port Richmond Pumpkin Smash. Let's take a look. So to blow up the pumpkins, we use a compound called calcium carbide. It reacts with water to produce acetylene gas. It's the gas that is found in blow torches. The structure of this molecule has a triple bond and when we ignite it, we break this triple bond, releasing a ton of energy. It's an exothermic chemical reaction and that's why we see such a big explosion, like we saw. For Good Morning Port Richmond, this is Ms. Moretti. Last Friday, many of our Raiders were invited to participate in a celebration that acknowledged their completion of the CUNY application. Counselors, teachers, and staff were all there to celebrate the seniors who had completed their application. Good luck to everyone in their future college endeavors. And with that, Color Wars is getting pretty horrific here at Port Richmond. Do you get it? No. Halloween? Not amused. No. No? Okay. Anyway, let's kick it over to ghoulish Mr. Madunia with an exclusive Color War update. Boo. Now, let's get down to business. This color war thing is heating up intense, and October has been a month of war. We had the Alzheimer's walk, the autism walk, and the breast cancer walk. Plus, we had Wear Bloob Day, Wear Pink Day. Plus, we had the Jar of Hope Push-Up Challenge, the Homecoming Game, the Halloween Homecoming Dance, and the College Door Decorating Contest. But all those scores combined, the ninth graders, for the month of October, have racked up 4,116 points, students and staff, great job. The 10th graders have racked up 2,259 points, great job. The juniors, the 11th graders, have racked up 6,952 points, and the seniors have racked up an additional 5,300 points, all to be added to the current scores. Also, we're waiting on October Dean's deductions. We got four weeks of them to do, plus the report card percentages and the October attendance rates. Who's gonna be the winner for the month of October? Now, let's take a look at some highlights from our haunted hallway at the homecoming dance this past weekend. <laughs> Student government, you did excellent. Back to you guys in the studio. Happy Halloween. Thanks, Mr. Madunio. Guys, I found this really cool article just in time for Halloween. NASA on Sunday shared a photo on Facebook and Twitter of the sun looking like a giant flaming jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, Ari, apparently the face is the result of active regions of the sun burning more brightly than others. NASA is inviting people to download the high-resolution image of the pumpkin sun just in time for Halloween. So get your free copy and happy Halloween from NASA. Halloween is tonight, and continuing with festivities throughout the weekend, you may be looking for a few treats to add to your tricks. We have Michelle Guzman standing by with the culinary team and Ms. Keck with tips on how to make your table even more spooktacular. Good morning, Fort Richmond. I'm here with Miss Keck, and she's going to be teaching us some cool, simple ways that you can make some Halloween treats. Some homemade holiday treats. Yeah. Um, what we did today, we're going to do cupcakes. We had some of the girls came in earlier to prepare the cupcakes because it takes a long time to cool. Now we're going to do the frosting. So we have Cherokee and Liz. And then we're going to show you how to decorate. Okay, girls, let's go. What we're doing with very, very easy buttercream frosting. It's right actually off the box of confectionery sugar. And we're doing half a stick of butter to one box of confectionery sugar to four tablespoons of milk to make it creamy and spreadable. It's very easy. And then what we did is we actually colored it. We used uh, food gel. 
for the holiday. So we're using orange and green and red. So Miss Tech, how long have you been doing this at Fort Richmond? Well, believe it or not, this will be my 32nd year at Fort Richmond. Um, I actually was at Susan Wagner one year. They brought me back and I've been here for 31 years. Wow, and how do you and like the program? I love the program. When the program started, we were on the other side of the building mm -hmm. in a little tiny classroom, one stove, mini refrigerator, so you see how, wow. yeah, how, we we have came, how far we've come. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And how many people are in the program, the culinary? Like 300. Mr. Mulvey has five classes. Mr. Ryan has five classes. I have the Y. It comes Monday and Tuesday. And um, it's very successful. We love, love it. What people else have you like to cook? Make? Yeah, no, I've been yeah. in the culinary program. Right. I was in it. It's fun, yeah. yeah. I really like it. It's fun because you have help from the teachers and from the people around right. you. Right, and it gives you some experience, you know, everyday experience, yeah. you know, at home. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm -hmm. It's good. So as you can see, with just a couple of ingredients that you can find at your house and a great imagination, you can put together some amazing cupcakes. I'm here with the Culinary Club and Miss Keck, and we just want to say... Good morning, Courageman! Back to you guys. Last Friday was our homecoming Halloween dance where students and faculty came out in their costumes and danced the night away. And, hold this peasant. Okay. Where are you going? What's he doing? Mo. I know what's going on. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Come on. Your Majesty. I won homecoming, King. Anyway, here's Lil M with a recap of the dance. Let's take a look. Good morning, Port Richmond. I'm Matthew Hale, live at the Halloween homecoming dance, where tonight is about costumes and crowns. Let's see how it went down. Beginning with the haunted hallway and following through with performances by Joey, I Hate Drew, and our very own Little M, the Halloween homecoming dance was nothing short of a great time for over 330 Raiders and outside guests in attendance last Friday night. We even had a performance by the Raiderettes. This year at Port Richmond has been an amazing year because first and foremost, we have the most amazing kids here in the cafeteria tonight. Let me hear you make some noise. Oh, you can do better than that. Let me hear you make some noise. Our annual costume contest provided enjoyment for all with a variety of great costumes and of course we crowned our homecoming court with Princess Elizabeth Bosa, Prince Andrew Hosey, Queen Nadine El Said, and King Muhammad Ali Khan. This was a great night and it was a spectacular time had by all. As you can see, tonight is about homecoming and spirit and also all things Halloween. I'm Matthew Hale. Happy Halloween and have a good morning, Port Richmond. Thanks, Matt. Keeping up with the Halloween spirit, this week we asked our Raiders what's their least favorite Halloween candy. Here's Anthony Mano with this week's Mano in the Hall. Good morning, Port Richmond. I'm Anthony Mano for this week's Mano in the Hole. Today we are asking our fellow Raiders, what is your least favorite Halloween candy? Let's go take a look. My least favorite Halloween candy is Tootsie Rolls because it tastes weird. My least favorite candy is candy corn because it's nasty. My least favorite candy is cotton candy because it's too soft. Um, my least favorite ho Halloween candy is probably candy corn. It tastes disgusting. My least favorite Halloween candy is Skittles because I usually don't usually buy it and sometimes it'd be too sweet or too sour. My least favorite Halloween candy is Smarties because they taste like chalk. My least favorite candy on Halloween is Dots because they get stuck in your teeth and you don't want that. My least favorite candy is Nerds because I don't like the way the texture is and like it's not sweet, too hard. My least favorite candy for Halloween is Tootsie Roll because they're hard to bite and break my teeth. Wow, I agree with a lot of those answers. For me, Butterfingers are definitely the worst Halloween candy. Make sure to keep up with the conversation on social media using the hashtag MITH. I'm Anthony Mano, and have a good morning, Port Richmond. Not only is today Halloween, but it's also the start of the three-day celebration, Dios de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead. With a little cultural inspiration, let's welcome Spanish teacher Anna Sanabria. 
Okay, buenos dias for Richmond. What is it that we are celebrating? Halloween! Halloween but in Spanish? El Dia de los Muertos. El Dia de los Muertos, very good. El Dia de los Muertos. And what is it about? Death. Okay, what is it that we are doing to the death? Um, no, celebrating. Celebrating, very good. Okay, what is the costume? Okay, I just show you what is La Catrina. She was a native Mexican, but took the European style. Okay, how about Pan de Muertos? Bread. It's bread. Bread with what? Sugar on top. Very good. What is, um, what was all oh, the skulls? The sugar skulls, but what happened to the skulls? What is the background of the skulls? Italian. Very good. It's an Italian tradition. Very good. And then we have the altar. The altar. What you could say about the altar? Uh, you put a picture there, um, a concha, and to remember who died. The right. loved ones. Yeah. You put a picture, and what happens if you don't put a picture? They they don't get to see the altar. Okay, guys, in which movie you could um, see the Day of the Muertos? Go ahead. Coco. Coco. Coco, tell me a little bit about the movie. It's about a boy. Uh huh. He he went to the land of the dead. His family didn't allow music in the household, so he went to the Day of the Dead thing, and he looked for his granddad because he was a musician, but he left. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Feliz Dia de los Muertos. Thanks, Ms. Sanabrio. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Remember, candy grams are being delivered as we speak. Be sure to check out the soon return bi weekly podcast called The Raider Blast. Keep up with us on social media at PRHS Activities. Anything related to GMPR, hashtag GMPR. I'm Caitlin Tartaglio. I'm Joseph Badejo. I'm Ariana Powery. I'm Homecoming King. And have, have a, a good morning, morning Port Richmond. Richmond. <laughs>